Okay guys, so we're here, we're about to play the Call of Duty World War 2 beta, uh, and I haven't launched the game yet, so I just wanted to tell you a bit of what I'm going to be doing. So this is my first game I've ever played, this is the first game I've ever seen played. All that I've seen previous to this is one sniper clip, and I've seen the first couple of trailers, but I haven't really seen any actual gameplay yet. I don't know anything, really. I know that the classes have been changed, so they're now like class-based. I don't know if you can customize them or what, but that's that's pretty much what I know. I don't know these maps. I I've played Advanced Warfare, but I've never owned it. So this is Sledgehammer's second game, so I I won't recognize any of the maps if they're remakes or anything. So this is pretty raw footage. Um, I haven't even launched the game yet, so we're gonna get to discover all this stuff together. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty excited. We're gonna launch it up. Hopefully, we don't have any problems. I had some problems. Lala, had some problems recording a couple days ago. So we're just gonna see how it goes, and we're gonna launch it up right now. So I'm pretty excited. I don't know what to expect. Uh, a lot of people have been saying this could be the Call of Duty's make or break it, but they've said that for the last couple. I don't think it's gonna. Uh oh. Uh. Okay, um, I don't think it's going to break it, I hope it makes it, but I thought the last game Infinite Warfare was pretty good, a lot of people didn't agree with that, but I think this should be a good game, but I really don't know what to expect. Anyway, I'm going to be quiet while these cinematics play. Okay, I don't think there's anything important coming up. One thing to note there, which I didn't actually realize, is there was the word Raven, and I believe that's Raven Software, I'm almost positive. So that's kind of interesting, because if you don't know, they worked on remaking Modern Warfare last year, and they did a really good job of that, so this could be pretty cool if they are working on Call of Duty World War II. So apparently I've got to go through this. Enter. Right in the settings, just the sliders, so all the icons are barely visible. Um, okay, how do I? Apparently, I can't adjust it though. What's with this? Ah, okay. I, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here, so I'm just gonna leave it at the default setting. I think that's pretty default. Yeah, I'll leave it there. I haven't seen the UI at all. This is all new. Oh, we got a Cathedral of Notre Dame. Anyway, we're gonna go play. I. Oh yeah, this is just multiplayer. I, I wasn't sure. So I think that'll bring us into a little multiplayer section. Welcome, and thank you for participating in the Call of Duty World War II multiplayer beta. We are thrilled to give you the first opportunity to play what has been our focus and passion for the last three years. This open beta is just a small part of the full Call of Duty World War II experience, multiplayer experience, available at the worldwide release on November 3rd. Your time with the game is incredibly valued, so please submit your feedback via Reddit or be our beta survey or via our social channels. Have fun, and we'll see you online. Slash time again. Then we've got a little post to that. So, one thing to note, I didn't actually know there was going to be an open beta until like three days ago. There was the closed beta, I believe it was like maybe last week or something. And I was like, oh, that's that's not too good because I thought they'd maybe have an open beta. You know, they had one in Infinite Warfare that went pretty well. I expected them to do the same. And when the closed beta came out, I thought it wasn't going to happen at all. So. This, I just learned to this in the last few weeks, so it is kind of cool that they did decide to do it. I'm not sure if it was an afterthought or it was planned the whole time, but... Okay, so 
Okay, so I must have to decide on which class I want to pick. I'm assuming you can play all of them. I'm not positive, but I'm assuming you can, and then you kind of rank up in one. But we'll see. These can be yours. Rifle bayonet, infantry, and then a divisional weapon. So the Airborne, uh, they specialize in SMGs. The Armored Division specializes in LMGs. Okay, then the Mountain Division, pretty obvious, they're the Snipers. The Expeditionary, these are your shotgun players, and their specialty is incendiary shells. Okay, so now that I've seen all of the classes, uh, I'll just talk a little bit about them all. Uh, I'm going to start at the bottom, actually, maybe I'll move around a bit. But Expeditionaries, they look pretty cool, but shotguns are fairly specialized, so I am going to stay away from them. Then the Armored. LMGs can be either really good or really bad depending on the situation, so I'm gonna stick away from those guys as well. I think they could be fun, but they're just too specialized, I think. Uh, same with the snipers. I like sniping, I think everyone likes sniping, and I want to get a feel for the snipers before I actually use them in the game. And then the two left are the infantry and the airborne division. The infantry, I think they could be pretty cool. They're just kind of your generalized assault rifle guys. And then for your airborne are your SMGs. So I think the airborne could be pretty good, but I'm not quite sure. So I'm going to go with the infantry because that's just kind of the standard player role. And if we get the chance, we might also play some SMG with the airborne. Are you sure? I am sure. Uh, how do I do it? There we go. Okay, that's pretty cool. So. I'm not sure if these classes are all for the inventory or they're locked because we haven't got the other divisions yet. So this is our class, we've got an M19441, I'm not sure, I'm not quite sure what that is, and then P08. So yeah, uh, this is kind of, I like this kind of HUD, it looks pretty nice. There was something weird about the first cutscene there though, it was kind of blurry and distorted and hopefully that's not something with the settings. I don't think it is, but we'll see. Uh, okay, we've got standard Mark II frag grenade. Okay, so there, there's actually a lot of different attachments, which is kind of interesting. Reflex sight, I, that looks similar to the one that was in World of War. Kind of cool. Personalize. That's kind of cool. I like the Netherlands guy, he looks pretty, pretty neat. How do I? Select him. I have selected him, have I? Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, so everything's new to me. F1. Okay, that's just gonna be the same options there. So, if I escape, do I? Escape again? Okay. Welcome to Call of Duty World War II. The Soldier tab is where you customize your character, prepare your loaded, review your combat record, and personalize your experience. Enters to learn more. Should we do it? Sure. Uh, divisions, your division loadouts are the most critical element to winning the fight. Okay. Uh, score streaks, equip score streaks to turn the tide of the battle with heavy firepower. And at dossier access, your combat record and personalized Asian tools in the dossier tab. Uh, oh, it's going to give me more. Soldier stats here, you can find information about your current rank and combat performance. That could be scary. Uh, register today, sign up for a Call of Duty account, stay current on the latest Call of Duty, blah 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 blah. I'm going to skip it. I, I thought I had a Call of Duty account, but I'm not going to sign in right now. So, Okay, now there's lots of stuff here. What's in new? Okay, that's just them trying to sell it to us. Uh, find a match. Public match. Uh, okay, so we are going to go... I don't know all of these modes. I don't know what war is or mosh pit. Attack and defend a set of objectives. Okay. Uh, an assortment of game modes, does that make sense? Beta playlists, so okay, there aren't any others. So we're gonna go with Team Deathmatch and we'll hop into it right now.
we are back. Hopefully now we're not going to run into as many issues. I jumped into a good game there and I kind of messed around with some stuff. I hope I fixed it. I think it was a bit of the FPS cap. We'll have to see. It was still laggy. I'm not quite sure what's up with the service. I mean, the game's in beta, so you can't really complain about it, but I don't think it's a problem on my end. I think it's maybe just a bit of optimization. Okay, now I seem I got into Gibraltar both times there. I haven't played this one Aachen, but I do believe this was a World of War map. At least it's very similar to one. Okay, so we're gonna go with our oh no. <laughs> it's still a little laggy, but I might just we'll see how this life goes. And if I feel that it's still laggy, I'll knock it down to uh, just all the low settings. Okay, one kill. Not doing as bad as last time now. I don't know the map though. Whoa, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna knock all the settings down because it doesn't make sense to be playing with this kind of lag. Now, my opinion on the maps. I did enjoy the last one, but with the lag, it's kind of hard to tell. And again, I'm, I'm just gonna call the lag, I'm not sure if it's FPS well or what it is. But, um. Well, let's give the snipers a go. It might just be a complete fail. Uh, okay, the graphics do not look good right now. I've turned them all the way down, of course. But assuming this is how it's done. Oh, okay. um, I'm not sure. I, I'm pretty sure you can quick scope. No, it's positive. Oh, baby. Okay, that was our first kill. That's a good sign. thing about snipers is they're deadly, but if you have no clue what you're doing, like I do right now, um, it'd be a little sketchy. Whoa, okay. These things must have been walking something, because I should not be doing this good. Okay, they seem to be spawning in behind us, although I'm not also how the spawns were. Oh, okay. I have a little mine. Oh, I think I should have got that kill, but maybe not. The performance is a lot better right now. Not perfect. Is oh, that is off. I like how the scope doesn't like move around a ton when you're oops, when you're aimed down sights and not holding the. I'm gonna switch to this turn. I guess it's like fancy version. Maybe it's a different sniper. Whoa. Okay. Okay, he hit marking me. I'll take that. But he did not expect that play. So far in the first minute or so, I've been using the sniper. Wow, headshots all over the place. It feels pretty good. Which I'm surprised. It's not giving me the kills for free, although it seems to be. But it's also not impossible. Oh, we're going to go for a secondary, I'll oh, uh, switch to there we go. Oh, the M1911, wow, that looks very disproportionate. Just going to put that out there. My graphics settings are also going to be making everything look a little bit funky. Well, I'm thinking I can throw it for some reason. Whoa. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I don't know how I got that. That was amazing. Now... The AR didn't feel too good. It was okay, but I didn't really like it. The SMG felt it was, it was decent. Oh my gosh, this sniper! This is this is what it's about. Oh, 
Ooh, there's someone coming there. There we go. Ooh. Wow, I'm tearing the place up with this thing. Oh, I'm gonna try this one out. This is a bit like the, uh, what's it called? I'm gonna, I don't know if you know the name right now. What is the, uh, one called the Mosinagom, but it's not. Karkarov? Is that what it is? I don't know, one of the snipers from World of War. I think the last one he unlocked. Wow, that was way off. I'm not sure if there's aim assist. There must be a little bit of aim assist on here. Maybe a ton, seeing how many shots I'm hitting. I remember that during the Infinite Warfare beta, the snipers were amazing. And then... Ooh, that was... That was my... I have no clue what I'm doing. Oh my. I'm just gonna run out. Oh gosh. Wow, that was a big jump. Okay, what I'm saying is I remember in the Infinite Warfare beta, the snipers felt really good. They were like, it was like, wow, this, this could be the year for sniping in Call of Duty. And then the beta was done and the game came out and they just didn't feel as good. I'm not sure whether they nerfed them. A lot of the guns felt really good during the beta, and then post beta they changed stuff and it just wasn't as good at. I mean, all the guns felt the same during the beta, which wasn't really great, but it felt pretty good. So hopefully, like I mean, there's obviously stuff they're going to change and they need to change. And I don't really know what that is yet. Oh, nice, okay. Um, see if we can get a couple kills with the pistol here. I don't know if those bombs stay down or what. After I put them down, like if I die, will those stay up? I don't know. Yeah, I think I can get a bit of a flank. There seems to be a guy. I'm the one. Okay, it's time to switch out to. Oh, I have nine shots. That's not good. Ooh, I like that I can hear someone. I would be... I would be pretty happy if... Wow, okay. Um, if this game... Just trying to listen. If this game focused on sound cues a bit more than the past... Games... Call of Duty Ghost was a great game for sound cues. That was kind of weird, I could hear her talking. Okay, first, first score streak. Don't know how I knew the bind for that. Cool, this thing's got a high fire rate. It's got decent accuracy. But you can't quite play how I'm trying to. Wow. Okay, now we're going off. The performance has kind of increased. It's not perfect. Okay, I gotta move. Come on, where's my other one? I'm low on ammo. But, I don't think anyone's gonna see me here. Okay, whoa, this is new. Okay, what's going down? Is this me? Oh, I just killed myself. <laughs> okay, I, I knew the guy. other guy had gone inside, so I'm like, oh, what's the white guy? Yeah, is he is he good? Is he bad? Is he like super enemy? Oh gosh. Keep messing up my uh my weapon switch key. Change the bind on it, so I'm gonna pick up this Commonwealth custom mode's got like an A fog on the site. Whoa. Come on, run around the I think he's gonna actually run around the corner and set that off. Oh, he did. He was ready. Oh, that was a good shot. First drop shot. Oh, wow, okay. Okay. I don't know if they've, like, set some crazy aim assist on just for the beta. Get snipers all hyped up and then they're gonna change, but it, it feels pretty good. <laughs> This guy going. He must be going to the tunnel. I don't quite know the layout. Okay, there's one guy coming up here. Whoa. Okay, we're just Ooh. 
Oh, headshots all over the place. Rank up again. Well, I, I'm feeling uh, this is like the 5,000th time I've stated it, but snipers feel good. Like, I guess one thing that I haven't even considered is this is the first boots on the ground caught in, what, three years? The last one would have been Call of Duty Ghost, yeah. Oh, I thought I was gonna pick up a little clip there. Not quite good enough yet. Wow, I got three medals though. Uh, oh, this is interesting. I just noticed in the top left hand corner by the minimap up there, it actually gives you callouts. It's kinda interesting. That's that's something a lot of games have been doing recently. Uh I mean, it's not a new idea. CSGO does it. Let's get the nurse up there. Uh, Rainbow Siege does it. It does it really well. Uh, so that's actually kind of cool. There we go. First game won. And we'll see how that goes because it's actually performing half decent there. Oh, I thought this was me for a sec. I am not quite the uh, caliber of bronze star yet, but. Is this a lot? I think it was. That was a pretty nice shot. So not too bad at 17 and 10. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Please be sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you in the next video.